Hi everybody, that's Crystal. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe, you know, as I always do. Thank you for joining me today. So do you guys want to do a little bit of yarn talking? I'm going to show you some yarn I got <clears throat> from Yarn Company um, in Canada. Uh, I purchased from this yarn company before. I love, I love, I love their yarn. Um, it's a mill in Canada, so they mill it and dye it. It's Belfast Mini Mills. I'll put a link below. Now, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just think they have really nice uh, uh, yarn, and it's it's um, inexpensive, I think, for um, hand mill and hand dyed. It's not that much money. So, let's go ahead and open it up if I don't cut my hands off first. So, it came in a mail today in this box. Super, super excited. How long did it take to get here? Um, I think about 10 days. But they shipped it right away. It's just sometimes uh, <laughs> the U.S. Postal Service was the slow one. I can't say it was on the Canadian side because it wasn't. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they shipped uh, the same day I ordered it. They shipped it. So, oh, it looks pretty. Oh, I can't even open it. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, that looks beautiful, too. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh, it looks beautiful. That's what I said. Oh, it's in a bag, too. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to explain some things about Belfast Mini, Mini Mills. Belfast Mills. They uh, are located in Canada. And um, where are they located at in Canada? Belfast. Belfast, Canada. Um... Anyways, Belfast Mini Mills. When you go to their site, like I said, I'll put a link below. Now, it's going to be set up in uh, the, the dollar amount you see is going to be Canadian dollars. And um, so, actually, the dollar you, if you're in the U.S., like me, the dollar amount that you see is going to be more than what you're actually going to pay. So, it's a little bit less than what it shows uh, for, for U.S. dollars. So, let's look at, let's look at it, okay? <laughs> I didn't get a lot. Um, I I have a couple that I got before, and then they had some <clears throat> that I never had before. And I'm super excited. Let's look at it. All right, I'm back. I had to look at prices because the prices were not an invoice. So I got the invoice. Said they wrote, "Thank you for your order." So that's very nice, handwritten. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this one is so pretty. I've had this one before, but I've always given away. And I've never made anything out of it, but I want to keep this one. Look at that. <laughs> mm, smells like a smells like a mill it smells it smells clean it smells fine oh it's nice too so this is hand painted 100 percent merino wool 100 uh grams and it's three ply as in it's got three plies of uh twisted together 200 yards uh it says to gently hand wash and rinse and and rinse and dry flat. Now this isn't, um, I don't believe this is pre-washed, so more than likely this would felt. Wouldn't this be a cool felted bag? It would. So this one is actually one of my favorites that they sell. Um, the color of this one is called um, Rainbow. <laughs> so the price on these are remarkable. Now remember this is a small company, which I love to support small companies. It's a, it's a mill. They mill their own yarn, they dye their own yarn, in Prince Edward Island, Canada. Prince Edward Island, Canada, Belfast Mini Mills. Okay, I believe you can go there too, um, if I'm not mistaken, or pick up your yarn there if you live near there, but I'm in the U.S., so I don't live there, but if I did, I'd be there. <laughs> Anyways, so Canadian dollars, if you go to their site, it's going to say $22. That would be Canadian, but for us in the U.S., it's $17 a hank. It may seem like a lot, but for... Um, a hand spun, a hand dyed uh, yarn um, at a small mill, that is very inexpensive. That is a very nice price for that. I love it and it's so beautiful. A rainbow. My favorite so far. Well, it's the only one I got out. But. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Which one is this one? Ah, uh, I don't know which one this one is. Here it is. Here it is. All right. That is beautiful. This is the same. It is uh, hand painted, 100% merino wool, 
100 grams, 200 yards. It's a, these are medium weight number fours, in case you wondered. Here's their four weight. I'll hold it up so you can see it. They're nice four weights. Ah, it's nice. It's not scratchy. It's scarfable. The color of this one is called Woodland. Ooh, I love that one. This reminds me of one of my friends here on YouTube. That looks like something he might uh, like as well. That's beautiful. Beautiful colors. Sometimes I see yarns and they remind me of people. <laughs> when I get them and, you know. Um, this one the, is, when you go to their site, it's going to be 22 Canadian dollars or 17 U.S. What a deal for that. What a deal. The color of this one is called Woodland. Now, they have the, they have different kinds of yarns. Four weights, fingering weights, you know, sock yarns or whatever. Um, all different kinds. I'm going to show you their, their hand, hand dyed collection or hand painted collection first. This is the same. It's uh, hand painted 100% merino, 100 grams, 200, 220 yards. Is that what I said? No, they're different. This one was 200. And this one was 200. What's this one? Well, this one says 220 on the yardage. Well, I don't know. Anyways, it's beautiful. Look at that one. And this one is called... Um... Peacock. Pretty. I like that one too. That's beautiful. Same price. It's going to be $17 US, 22 Canadian. That is beautiful, beautiful. And these, you know, people will ask, what can you do with one, one hank? Well, I got just a few more hanks to show you in my video, but it won't be extremely long if you don't mind sticking around. <laughs> um, what can you do with one hank? Well, 200 yards will make a beautiful hat. It will, more than enough to make a beautiful hat, it will make a cow, it would make a beautiful bag, um, wristers, mittens, um, it would make a smaller scarf, you know, um, of a four weight, that is, that I'm, that I'm speaking of. So, you know, you can't, there's more to, you can, let me think about it, you can do anything in the kitchen with it, but it is, you know, I wouldn't use it in the kitchen for the kitchen. I wouldn't make towels or nothing like that. These are probably hats. I'll probably probably, you know, put some in giveaways, but I'm gonna make a hat out of this, I think, or I might make a bag and felt it. I don't know. Or I could probably make a hat out of that one be more me. No, they're both me. I love the rainbow and those browns. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I got one more of these hand painted ones and then I'll show you a different collection they have. Oh, this one was the new. I never had this one before either. I never had this one before, nor this one. Um, this one is called Bumblebee. So this is the same. It, it has 220 yards, 100% uh, merino, four weight yarn, Bumblebee. That is beautiful. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful yarn. Again, 22 Canadian or $17 in the U.S. What? I just can't help it. What a deal. What a deal. And I love wool so much. It's so, uh, nice. It's so nice. I love any kind of wool, but this is, this is Beautiful, beautiful. Plus, you're supporting a small business. It's better than that. Okay, here's some yarns I've never had before. This is, ooh, ooh. This is called Belfast Mini Mills Island Collection Worsted. It's a hundred percent. Ooh, it's super wash merino. So this one will not felt. A um, hundred grams, two hundred and twenty yards. Wash on gentle. In, war in the warm cycle it's it's soft it's nice what is this called this is called Ro no 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 that's not what this one is this is called um i don't even know what it's called i'll have to look it up just a second look at that look at that colors in that brown that is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous yarn so the uh the there it is there it is the island uh collection is twenty dollars canadian or fifteen fifty two u.s hand spun hand dyed at a small mill in Canada. 
$15.52 US. Oh my gosh. 220 yards of a medium weight number four. Look at the all the browns in that. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm going to make a hat. This one could be my favorite now. I don't know. It's hard to beat the rainbow, but that one just might have done it because brown is my fa favorite color. So let's see here what we got here. Um, okay. This is actually called Flax Island. Flax Island Worsted. That's what it is. Flax Island Worsted. I found the name of it. Isn't that beautiful? 100% Superwash Merino. Mm. Mm. That's so yummy. Here's another one. This is called... That's the color of it. Flax. And this is from their Island... Or Tweed Island Worsted Collection as well. This one's called Rose. <gasps> Look at that one. That's beautiful. So it's the same as the brown. Except for it's just a different color. Um, hmm, very pretty color. Very tweed looking. 220 yards of a superwash merino. Full weight yarn. Again, 15.52. And like I, I'm always going to say, I know that sounds high, but it's not high for a hand spun, hand dyed at a, at a small mill. That's an outrageously inexpensive, wonderful price. And it's very beautiful yarn. Mm, I like that. Okay, I have another one here. What's this one? Okay, this one is called uh, Specialty Designer Yarn. 100% <clears throat> Ottawa Wool Board Wool. 100 grams, 195 yards. So that's a different kind of wool. Ottawa Wool Board Wool. Huh. Hand wash. Lay flat. So let's look at this one. This one cost... $18, that is Canada, $13.96 US for 100% Ottawa wool, wool board wool, 195 yards of a four weight. That's pretty. It's a very neutral color. I don't know if they had any other colors in this or not. I can't remember. Or if this is maybe just the natural color of the wool on that. It's a nice four weight. See that? That's beautiful. Now, this one is a little bit, it's not super stiff. Um, I would still consider it to be semi scarfable. I more than likely mm, probably would make a hat out of it. Or if I had more uh, hanks of it, would make a beautiful sweater that you were going to wear something um, underneath. It's not the softest out of the ones, out of any of these other ones. These other ones I would wear a scarf out of, you know, any of them. Especially these island wools. They're really nice. Um, this one um, is, you know, it's not super scratchy, but it's it's just on the borderline that I probably wouldn't wear a scarf out of it. But I love it. It is so beautiful. And I would definitely make a hat out of it. It's probably more than likely what I'll do with it if I don't end up giving it away. I always say I'm going to make hats because when I look at a hank of yarn, it's always hat making material for me because I wear hats all the time. I have such a huge collection of hats. And man... $13.96, $14 for that hanky yarn. U.S. Wow. Okay, I got one more to show you. And I've showed this before. And my gosh, I've bought it about five times. Four or five times. And I've never got to use it. I've always given it away. I'm using this one. I am using this one. This is very nice. So a buttery soft. Uh, now, I heard about Belfast Mills from another YouTuber, Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter. You guys should check her out. She's wonderful. She's such a beautiful woman. She has such a great personality. I love her so much. Now, I'm going to put a, a link to her channel below. And I, I watched her a while ago <laughs> uh, get this yarn, and she made a hat out of one hank of it. And that is when I got hooked on Belfast and Mitty Mills. So I, I purchased this many times, but I've never kept it for myself. I have to keep this one. I have to make myself a hat. I have to. Remember, look for uh, Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. Her link will be below. Go give her a subscribe. You're going to love her. She's great. Anyways, um, this is uh, their, in their specialty designer uh, collection. If you look on their website, they'll have um, certain collections. Um, it's made out of 75%. Uh, it's, it's dog hair. It's dog hair. Don't worry. They clean it and they wash it and all. 
uh, I don't know if I'm going to say the dog right. Samoyed, Samoya dog fur. 75% of it is that. And 20% or 25% fine merino. Look at that. It is so soft. And this is the natural color. The dog is, I looked the dog up before. So there it is. I probably didn't say it right. I can't say anything right. You would not be disappointed if you bought this yarn. Any of this yarn. But this yarn is so soft. It's, it's the softest one that I got. Um, remember, this is hand spun at the small meal. Four weight yarn. Very beautiful. But let me read about it here so I can tell you. I told you that is 75% of that um, Samoyed fur. Samoyed. Eric! I'll ask him how to say it. I feel bad. I know I'm not saying it right. 25% fine merino. It's a 50 gram uh, hank. 110 yards of a medium weight number four hand wash only definitely recommend that so there's 110 yards and when i watched debbie from the canadian crotch order she made a hat was able to make a hat out of one ball but i got two because uh, just in case i wanted to do some you know post stitches or something or bobbles on my hat you know they're yarn eaters and sometimes you know i like those type of stitches so <laughs> I got two of them. Now, these are a little bit more money um, than their other yarns because they are a, a, a specialty yarn. It's, I mean, it's made of dog hair. It's special. 75% of it's dog hair. It's so super cool. Um, so if you go to their side, you'll see that it's $30 Canadian or $23.27 US. And I still think that is an extremely good price. You can't even buy a uh, hand-dyed hank barely in the US for that. Um, and this is special especially uh, milled with dog hair. I don't know. Maybe my, some of you might think that's weird. I think it's it's so stinking awesome what they can make yarn out of. It is so pretty and so soft. I love this one. Okay. I've had this one, like I said, and I've always given it away. I have to keep these this time. I want to make myself a hat. I have to. So I know this one is always going to be one of my favorites because of the way it feels. It's just nice. It's just nice. Now, out of these new ones, I love the rainbow. I've had it before, and I've had the peacock before. All this other stuff was new to me. This one is, uh, these both are absolutely stunning colors. I love both of these colors. And then their island collection. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then being $15.52 for 220 yards. Those are gorgeous. I'm definitely going to keep that one. I love them both, though. They actually work look pretty good together and this one um that i've never had the ottawa uh wool board wool like i said it's very nice and very inexpensive 14 dollars a hank for uh, 195 yards i would just but i said it's a little bit stiffer than the rest but it's still very beautiful and uh that would be definitely hat making material for me so that's it what do you guys think which one's your favorite i can't choose this is one of those occasions that i can't choose i love them all there's not one that i like more than the other i don't think there's not mm, it would be too hard because i'm always going to gravitate towards the rainbow but i love the dog hair and i love the browns and greens up in this one this one is absolutely to die for this one is beautiful as well the ottawa one that, that's stiff i don't care that it's stiff i'll make a hat of it this yellow one is spot on beautiful they're all beautiful i can't choose let me know your favorite in the comment section all right um all beautiful love them all i highly recommend this company i've always highly recommended it as far as shipping goes like i said uh it got here whatever i said it was usually mainly the u.s it took the longest they shipped it the same day that i ordered it um they have free shipping if you spend a hundred dollars or more i believe that's a hundred dollars canadian too um, so it would be even less for us in the U.S. But if you do not spend that, it's $15 flat rate shipping to the U.S. or $12 flat rate shipping anywhere in Canada. So even at $15 to ship it, if you don't spend $100, isn't a bad price. Uh, shipping is that's shipping is so much money. I just shipped a little box this big uh, yesterday in the U.S. Just and it was way more than $15. So I'm just just saying it's coming from canada so um thanks everybody for watching um but anyways yeah this all shipped for free because i, I spent over a hundred dollars not much more over a hundred but i did um um i appreciate you watching and i apologize if i got the name of that dog 
raw. I can never say it right, but I love this. It's beautiful. Look for a hat on that soon. Deca check out Debbie too. I'll put a link below. You'll love her. Bye guys. I'm just rambling on because I've drank too much caffeine. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'll see you on my next video. Okay. Stay safe. I love you all.